I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to be that close to the camera. <laughs> What's up guys? This is Jackie, your nerdy crafter, and for this week's tutorial, I want to show you guys how to make your very own miniature 3D pen. I have yet to work with my own real 3D pen, so I figured why not make a mini one. What I love about this project is you can change the wires to any color that you want. For those of you new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, there are plenty of geeky tutorials to keep you entertained. Equally, if you haven't met Angel, <laughs> this is my little sucker bird. I also wanted to extend a thank you for reaching 10,000 subscribers on my other channel, Nerdy Jackie. So if you're into vlogs and just getting to know how silly I am, head on over there. Equally, if you like this project, don't forget to leave a like and share. Do you think they should share my video? Just one nod? That's it? Should they... Okay, there you go. The full list of all the materials will be in the description box below. And of course, as usual, the clay I'm using is from Sculpey. The first thing we're going to do is take our wire, stretch it out, cut it, and then we're going to make a pencil tip shape, put the wire inside, and if you want, the next part is optional, you can pre-bake it, or go on to the next step and make the longer part. Loosen the top part so that it's easier to remove later on. And I swear guys, get your brains out of the gutter. This is a black pen. It is not other things. Now you're going to bake it for 20 minutes at 275 degrees Fahrenheit. See, it is a pen. Now for the outer part, you're just going to roll a white piece of clay, kind of like a thick carrot. And then we're going to slice it like a hot dog bun. Have you guys ever had those Japanese hot dogs? They're so good. They have like wasabi and mayo and they're pretty delicious. I'm pretty sure they're called Japan dogs. All right, let's get back on track here. Remove whatever excess clay you have on the bottom and top, and then we're going to add the details. Make sure that you shape the top part so it's slightly diagonal, kind of like the real pens. I worked from a reference picture, but you can do your favorite pen. Once it is all done, go ahead and add some buttons. I don't know where that accent came from, but let's just pretend it's a good one. <laughs> to make the 3D shapes, you can either use your clay or your wires. That's entirely up to you and just kind of build it up and have fun. They don't have to be perfect because the ones from the 3D pen really aren't that perfect either. Now bake the shapes and the mini 3D pen for 25 minutes at 275 degrees Fahrenheit. To make the wires sticking out of the 3D pen, color up some wires. You can make them straight or you can make some coils to have them on the side of your figurines desk or your miniature collections desk. And of course, if you're gonna do this in your hand, don't worry about getting messy. Look at that. I just, this is where I realized I just, I'm, I'm giving up. So I'm just gonna have to wash my hand and that's okay. Cause we getting crafty guys, we getting crafty. And if your hand isn't messy enough, let's mess up our workspace because nothing says crafting like a full mess. So this is pretty much what my full collection of wires looked like. Once baked, remove the wire from the mini 3D pen. It should come pretty easily off. I don't even know what that sentence was, but now you know what it is. <laughs> we're going to paint our 3D pen whatever color we want, and then we're going to glaze it. The glaze is entirely up to you. I will leave a link in the description box below for all the basics on glazing and polymer clay in case you're new to this. Here's our pen, looking smitty cute. And you just have to put the wire color in there, bend it, and have fun with it. It is just so cute. 
I figured it would be a fun and kind of relaxing project to do something a little different than usual. It's still pretty geeky because, hey, floating wires, melting, electronics, and crafting. Yeah, I'm rambling. You know what I mean. All done! If you guys are into geeky things, here's what you missed out in these boxes. From Wanna Box Team Crate, Finn and Jake poster, Marvel Slap Bracelet, Dr. Eggman from Sonic, cute vinyl stickers from the Ninja Turtles, and an awesome t-shirt. From Loot Crate Anime's theme Future, a Psychopath Dominator USB key, Kiznavier mouse pad, Clockwork Planet manga, I actually haven't read this one so I'm super curious, Yume Together Charm, and a Ghost in the Shell t-shirt. And lastly, from the regular Loot Crate box, with the theme of Primal, an exclusive Wolverine figure, it's really heavy, Jurassic Park warning sign, Predator's bottle opener, and an awesome t-shirt. I like that each box had different colors. Anime was red, one of box was black, regular was gray. And lastly, a pin. I'll leave links to these awesome boxes in the description box below, as well as the future theme for both of them. If you have suggestions for future geeky tutorials, leave them in the comment section below. And don't forget to add me on Twitter and Instagram. Until then, I will see you guys next week. You wanna say bye? <laughs>